and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry. Thank you for choosing to watch my video today. Today's video is Meals of the Week and uh, what we ate for the last week. It's really simple. We're running out of everything. The freezer's been ran down and I'm about to go shopping. We're on our way out the house to go and do the shopping. Steve has the day off. So we're going to go and pick up some bits and bobs, just drop the kids off at school. But without further ado, here are the meals that we ate this week. Steve and I are having something called Pizza Carey for tea tonight from the Stanley Tucci Searching for Italy programme. It's not exactly because Pizza Carey refers to the buckwheat pasta. I couldn't find any and to be honest I didn't have time to make any and do anything like that today. We had a busy day. So I've used some tagliatelle and some other little flat types of pasta you can see there. They're just, they're like, just like rolled little short pieces of pasta and it is so tasty and it's basically potatoes, savoy cabbage and pasta. And then it's all melted in with some melted butter, some garlic and cheese. I used Gruyere and Parmesan because I couldn't find any, any of the super expensive cheese that they used in the program. And it's uh, also got some sage in it because I saw a recipe that had sage in it and I liked the idea of it. But um, yeah, really tasty. It's miserable. It's been pouring with rain, gale force winds all day. The kids had tea as soon as they came in because they were starving and Isaac had been on a little trip and hadn't eaten since 12 o'clock so we're gonna sit down and, and enjoy this and warm up today we are having spaghetti and meatballs well not exactly Isaac's been asking for this for ages so we've got linguine because that was what I bought at the shops that was what was on special offer I made a tomato sauce and I made meat balls meat balls from green lentils and there's some herbs in there and some parmesan some egg some breadcrumbs, some oats, um, really tasty. I'll leave a link to my recipe below. I did everything as I do in the recipe, except I cooked them in the air fryer for 20 minutes at 190 degrees and just turned them over once. Perfect, just sprinkled them with a little bit of oil. So we've all got the same little portions for Isaac and Eris. And um, we've got some left over, but yeah. Um, Spaghetti and meatballs, or spaghetti and uh, lentil meatballs and linguine. Isaac and Eris are having the Iceland Greggs sausage rolls for tea with some crinkle potato fritters that I made in the air fryer and some beans. There's Eris's, they've got some grape juice. Uh, Steve's still at work. They've done all their homework and they're playing on the switch. And um, I just thought, let them have what they want. It's Friday night, why not? Um, we'll have a nice treat and we're just going to have a lovely family evening playing the playing spire at the moment. Don't know why you need to know this. <laughs> and then we'll probably all play Mario Kart together. But that's their teeth. And I'll show you what Steve and I have a little bit later after he's finished work. Because I don't know what time he'll be finished. So this is mine and Steve's tea. I had a funny headache earlier on. And uh, while the children were playing after their tea and just couldn't be bothered to cook. So I'd already soaked some lentils and I was going to make us some tea with them. So I've just rinsed them, added more water to them, put them in a bigger bowl and covered them. And they'll, I'll use them for something tomorrow. And I ordered us, ordered us pizzas and they're too big. I should have ordered a size smaller. It's just from a um, pizza place in Hexham, which is a town a couple of miles away from us. Um, mine has got... Uh, garlic, the tomato sauce, garlic, cheese and onions on it and Steve's is pepperoni, salami, ham and some garlic I added onto it from because we like garlic and he's got cheese on there as well and then underneath we've got there's some sauces there that's cheesy chips because it's Friday night so why not I'm just <laughs> showing you what we're actually having and um, that's garlic sauce and there's a curry and a gravy in there for the chips but yeah we won't eat it all we won't eat it all and then um, it'll go away and we'll watch Gogglebox after this, which is 1993 Top of the Pops, which I'm absolutely loving because I was almost 14 and it's amazing. <laughs> so there we go. That's our tea for Friday night. I have made Isaac and Eris sausages and chips for their tea. Uh, Steve and I had the leftover pizza from last night for lunch, so we're not hungry yet. Um, I had a small head of broccoli in the fridge so I just boiled that up with a carrot that I chopped up for them We've got a couple of sausages and just some chips they're playing with Halloween costumes <laughs> if you can hear them some a few chips uh, from the air fryer a little onion gravy and then I have made a um, lentil and potato soup which I'll have later on 
if I'm hungry, once I'm hungry, and, and it will do for tomorrow, and I'm going to freeze a load of it as well. So just so I've got like something nice and hearty and healthy in the freezer for when we want quick food. And there's Isaac and Eris, and when I have some soup later, I'll show you that all plated up. And here is uh, mine and Steve's tea. Like I said, we're just having soup and it's really, really tasty. It is a mixed lentil and potato soup and some carrots, onions in there, and then just some stock tomato puree, um, a little passata and a couple of herbs, uh, oregano and thyme. I put a little bit of the Maggi savory seasoning in it, but you could just use a little soy sauce or uh, Worcester sauce or Henderson's relish. I uh, give it a bit, little umami flavour, and I did put put in a meat-free OXO beef stock cube. Um, it was really nice, really tasty, really simple. I've got loads left it's in a great big pan, and I'm going to freeze that in batches for when I've got soup. We've got some sourdough bread from local bakery, the Grateful Bread Bakery near us, and I made some apple turnovers with some of the hundreds of apples that I have from our lovely neighbour. Um, and they're just, it's just with store-bought puff pastry, just in the, the just roll stuff, uh, jus roll, whatever you want to call it, just roll, I don't know. Um, yeah, made some apple turnovers, soup, there we go, lovely cosy tea. We have been out for the day, we've been to a potato day at the Christmas farm in Long Framlington, which is about an hour away from us, and um, had a lovely day out. Picked up some veggies and some potatoes, obviously. I've made some chips with the Vita Bella potatoes. And it was lovely. The kids did a treasure trail and uh, went to the park, etc. So the children had their uh, picky tea earlier on. And we're having ours now. So I've got one of these cheddar and Sauvignon Blanc um, cheese dips from Tesco's. We've got some local cheeses. Oh, well, there's a company on the left there that's not local. But the one with the black bits on is a, um, it's called Hotspur from Doddington Dairy, which is local and it's got cracked black pepper on. And this is Capability Brown from Doddington as well. Got some leaves from the farm that we uh, picked up and some apples and spring onion and carrots from the farm. Um, a little bit of pickle, just Branston pickle, because sometimes it's the best. Uh, some green chilli sauce some mayo, a little butter, and we've got some bread. This one's a sourdough from the Grateful Bread Bakery in Hexham, and that one's a soft white from Sea Houses. So lots of local food, locally grown, locally made, and we're going to enjoy our little picky tea, which I feel like we haven't had one of these for ages, and round our weekend off with a nice film. It is the end of the month for us, so I'm using up all of the things we've got in the uh, fridge, and Try and use up some of the stuff that I've got in the freezer that's been there for ages. Not that I've used anything in the freezer today and in the pantry, etc. So things don't go out of date. So I had two types of filled pasta. I had a tortelloni and I had big flat parsnips, like the round type of ravioli. Can't remember what it's called. And I chucked it in a pan with some kale, some uh, chard some green peppers, onions, some tomato sauce from the freezer. So, oh, I did use something from the freezer. Some homemade tomato sauce and then just filled it out or, um, what's the word, not filled it out, just um, added to it to make it go further. Some passata and some salsa. I have, I've got a big um, tub of salsa, so I put some salsa in. Um, some Henderson's relish, salt and pepper, and did I put anything, and some garlic. And then um, chucked the pasta in, cheese on top, shoved it in the oven and we've got all those crispy bits of cheese over there and we've got some crunchy romaine lettuce and some spring onions just as a contrast to the soft pasta and there's a nice big bowl of comforting pasta um, now that the cold days are uh, kicking in and I've got loads left for um, lunch tomorrow for Steve and I and I literally made it in the pan and then because my pan's completely stainless steel chucked it in the oven one pot Two bowls and a chopping board, and that's all I've got to wash. 
So there we go. That's our bit, um, filled pasta bake for this evening. And that brings us to the end of this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd love it if you give it a little thumbs up and come over and follow me on Instagram at Kerry Jervis Cooks if you are not already. I'm trying to post on Instagram every day. Sometimes it's just me rambling, like I am now, um, or pretty pictures from where we live or what we're doing. So bits, other bits of life other than just food and shopping. There we go, that's the end of this video. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.